Hello and welcome to Open Logic. This is System Relog in 5 minutes. In this video, we're gonna look at the modeling hardware and signals. In Verilog, two syntax were created to model hardware. One is called wire and another one is called reg. This is how you create wire or reg. Wire, as the name implies, is used for connectivity. Reg stands for register, although it is really not a register. You can create multiple wires and multiple reg. You can also create multiple bits version by using square bracket notation. And the difference between wire and reg is that there is a rule on how to use them. A wire should be controlled using a sign statement, whereas a reg should be set inside always block or initial block. And having said that, this is not a hard rule. From a synthesis perspective, this assigned statement will connect W0 to a high supply. And this one will create one AND gate where W1 is connected to W0 and R0. And this always a block will create one AND gate plus one register where R1 is connected to clock W0 and R0. Initial block is a pure simulation code. It cannot be translated into any logic gates and connection. It can be used as a test bench to drive stimulus to the design. From a simulation perspective, we need to look into the behavior of the signals. Clock is an input signal. Let us assume this is how it behaves. W0 is hard connected to high from the beginning. R0 is driven to high at the beginning. W1 will follow W0 and R0 at all time. R1 will get the value of W0 and R0 at every positive edge of clock. Before we proceed, you should know that this code and illustration is incomplete. For example, we do not know the value of R1 at the beginning because it was not initialized unlike W0 and R0. Up until the first clock, R1 was unknown. A proper way is to initialize a design by using reset. The reset code is not used in the original example here because I was trying to avoid the font being too small. Another thing is that the always block here uses blocking assignments instead of non-blocking. Non-blocking assignments is quite huge a topic by itself and therefore it is covered in another tutorial. Anyway, the message I'm trying to bring up is that while I try to create error-free code, there are some areas that I oversimplify and some concepts that I skip to facilitate understanding. Alright, let's move on. If you are new to this and if you follow the rules strictly, you may find wire and reg are somewhat confusing. Which one is to be used and when to use it? A new syntax is created in system relog, supposedly to simplify coding. It is called logic. You can use logic to replace reg and wire, and the advantage of logic is that it can be used with all initial block, always block, and assign statement. From now on, just the one syntax for all usages, except in one area. Wire can be connected to multiple drivers. As an analogy, imagine a laptop having a USB mouse and a mouse pad. You can control the cursor using either of them, but if you use both of them at the same time, the cursor behavior is unknown. This is the concept of multiple drivers in hardware, and this is the case where logic cannot support. You can use logic with continuous assignment, but you cannot drive a logic signal with multiple drivers. Only wire can do that. Let's study more about multiple drivers. In this example, there are two initial blocks. One is driving the logic to zero and another is driving it to one. This is not a multiple drivers issue. This is a race condition. In analogy, it is the same as a television with two remotes. You can press both remotes at the same time. One of them will go first and the other will go second, overriding the first one. This is the same case for the initial blocks. Generally, there is no way to tell which one will go first. Here's another example with always block. There are two always blocks. Each tries to drive the same signal to different value. But similar to the initial block, this is also a race condition, not a multiple drivers issue. Here's another example. There is an assigned statement and an always block. This is a multiple drivers issue. The assigned statement will drive the logic at all time and thus will conflict with the always block at positive edges of the clock. This will cause compilation failure. In summary, logic is a new data type introduced in system relog to replace the wire and reg. Use it wherever possible unless you have a multiple drivers requirement. In that case, you must use wire. Alright, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching.